Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This will be a general reading having a look to see how your special person might be feeling about you um, and towards your current situation with them. So you might be dating this person, you might be married to this person, you might be wanting to date them um, or this might even be an ex. Um, this reading might be insightful for you uh, Scorpio into how this person is feeling. This can be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. Don't let your pride get in the way. Full moon in Leo. Okay, bit of a fiery climax coming in. Um, there's a burning intensity coming in around someone here. It might be a Leo or they might be feeling a little bit fierce, a little bit frisky here, Scorpio. Now, Leo energy is all about the heart. Um, you know, it's the big hearted king of the jungle, the lion. It's quite a magnificent energy. Uh, but when it's combined with the rush of a full moon, it can become over the top. It can become quite excessive. Um, and there might be a lot of developments happening here. Now, I'm sensing that there's someone that might be getting a little bit cocky or overly confident um, you know confidence is very good in one aspect but this might be something that is a little bit over the top um, it, it is a very bright time when this card comes up um, it is an energy where someone wants to show their talents and assets but it can be misconstrued as arrogance or cockiness Scorpio okay um, it, because the Leo full moon energy can create a tension between needs and needs of people in your networks uh, in your network or those in a relationship. Um, Leo full moon is essentially a time to release pride. So I am seeing someone that might be feeling like they're calling the shots, um, feeling like they have a lot of dominance in the relationship um, or feel like they hold more power right now. Okay, so there could be overconfidence. So you might see tendencies of this around this person um, because it's it's a full moon and that's really a culmination point so all these emotions are definitely heightened around this per um okay the ace of swords the hierophant the emperor okay definitely intensity and uh the, the, the temperance card okay Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It can point to a battle, okay? This card is often seen as, as uh, conquest and victory, but it's a hard, it, it's a road that's um, hard traveled, okay? It's a hard road to travel, so to speak. So there can be um, exhaustion. Someone might be feeling they need to fight for you. This could be mentally. Um, they need to mentally engage with you. They need to converse with you, fight to get their point across. Um, fight to be noticed by you Scorpio there could be a bit of a struggle happening here with the ace of swords you can see the hand of God emerging with the sword and while he's whilst he's victorious because he's essentially crowned there might be a an air sign around you that feels like they need to do a bit of fighting um, or a bit of battling out or B um, communication wise someone is feeling like there's a bit of a struggle and they want to overcome something with you some sort of barrier or block in communication here, Scorpio you might know what this is it uh, could be about marriage you've got the hierophant here could be about respect and devotion could also be about things happening in moderation with the temperance card having patience and the Emperor can be quite impulsive so I don't know if it's anything to do with the things I've just mentioned but there is definitely someone feeling and tapping into that energy um, there's also someone that believes you are for them the ace of swords is a god gifted opportunity from the universe the angels the law of attraction so there's definitely someone that sees you as worth fighting for um, Scorpio okay worth pursuing worth fighting for worth cutting away all the negativity or the bad habits or the toxicity in their life or in your relationship as well uh, because essentially you've got the Hierophant here um, which is a card of Taurus okay but it's also a card of devotion and respect you can see these monks looking up to the Vicar of Christ here in, in pure admiration and reverence um, so I am seeing there's a lot of respect here but this is borderline idolatry okay this is giving a lot of power to someone else and be careful because there is someone 
that is either feeling like you are becoming too confident, uh, too cocky, too confident, or they might find themselves becoming too confident and too cocky. Because um, in, in essence, the Hierophant card is quite positive, but you can see the stark contrast between those that are of a lower status than this person. So I do feel like there is someone that's feeling one of you has more respect or one of you is definitely calling the shots in the relationship more than the other. So someone is definitely feeling that contrast or noticing that contrast and they might just communicate this to you. It might blow up, okay? The um, the, the lion is very much uh, driven by his primitive, egotistical, basic instinct energy. So there could be a bit of ego coming and you also have the Aries emperor, which has some horns as well so there could be a bit of a tiff happening here or a little bit of tension that will come to the surface because full moon brings climaxes so i am seeing a connection here for some of you but look um that the the uh hierophant is often seen as the marriage card um respect devotion um tradition there could be someone who sees you as quite traditional or is thinking of engaging something quite traditional with you whether this is marriage or engagement um, or something ceremonial or a civil partnership this person has definitely had that on their mind it's taurian energy which is also loyalty okay so um, someone wants you to become more loyal or they might want more loyalty from you um scorpio okay you do have the Emperor, so there's a lot of fire here, okay? You've actually got Sag, Aries, uh, sorry, Aries, Sag, and Leo that has come up in these cards. There's a lot of fire energy, which brings a lot of intensity. Um, the Emperor is hard to impress. The Emperor is intimidating. Someone is feeling intimidated, okay? The Lion is the king of the jungle. He's fierce. He's forward. He's intense. He's hard to impress. He's very well respected and well known. Now, if someone is is, feel, is feeling the emperor energy, someone is feeling like um, there's an unapproachable energy, Scorpio. So you might be coming across to this person as not very approachable. The em emperor can be seen as someone quite harsh because he's quite confronting. He's quite intense. He takes up most of the card. He's he's very wise. He's very authoritative. He's very experienced. He's very entitled. And that gives him a sense of reason to act and do and say the things he does. But the land behind him is barren. So to get to that land and to see growth, you have to overcome the emperor. And I feel if someone is feeling the emperor, they're either feeling standoffish or they might be exhibiting behavior where they are standoffish this month, Scorpio, or they are feeling like you are a little bit of a harsh critic here uh, for them. But it's also impulsiveness. There's a lot of fire here. So there's someone's feeling impulsive. Or someone is is I don't know I feel like someone is really portraying a really tough exterior for some reason I don't know what they're trying to protect or the reason behind it Scorpio I just see like with the ace of swords there's a bit of a battle here could be battle of egos calling the shots who's got more dominance who can show off more in the relationship type thing um, this could be for some of you that have a partner here or someone you're, that you're you're still connecting with and maybe there's like a bit of a competition going on between the two of you like who who's who's done better maybe oh. i think there's a clash of egos here um but you've got your stinger out too so you're you're a worthy opponent that's for sure but look you also have the temperance so someone might be wanting more peace, moderation, balance. Uh, temperance is all about two cups intertwining and, and ebbing and flowing very, very effortlessly. So there's something about equality. Someone wants equality, I think in subconscious or deep down um, internally. This person does want a softness or does have a soft or sensitive side. But for some reason, I feel like they want balance, but they're not coming across like that. They're actually coming across with quite an intense energy. Um, is this their way of what, winning over balance or getting balance or reciprocity from you, Scorpio? Maybe. 
because there's water in these cards. Emotionally, someone isn't feeling like things are balanced and their way of dealing with it is being overconfident or over cocky. Or pride. Pride is getting in the way. And that's not what this soft angelic energy is about. No, it's about um, peace and tranquility and being in tune with your emotions. The feet dipped in the water here. Um, again, sun energy. Sun can be seen as creation. It is divine masculine, so it's more of a logic, logical and um, basic instinct energy because that's what masculine energy is. Um, it's not as creative or compassionate. It's more reasonable, more rational, but also irrational at the same time. And I feel like someone is going through these emotions. I honestly feel like someone might be testing you here, Scorpio. I feel like they're at a point where they're either through their words or through something they're trying to do for you or to you with the Ace of Swords, they're trying to do something because the Ace of Swords is putting up a fight or a struggle or chasing something for one reason or another. There's some sort of outcome they want to get here. Um, I wouldn't say it's like brainwashing or anything. I'd say it's more this person is either they're demanding more respect from you, but the way they're going about it is... It's all fire. So it could be hot-headedness, impulsiveness. Um, and this is maybe not the most healthiest approach. Or if it's not directly them exhibiting this behavior, then this is how they're feeling towards you or about you. So if you have exhibited that sort of behavior, Scorpio, this person is definitely feeling it. They're definitely tuning in. They're definitely seeing that um, displayed to them. So I don't know. I, I thought I'd mention that anyway. But look, I hope this reading has been insightful, um, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and hopefully we shall be connecting very, very soon. So thank you again and bye for now.